using the PowerTech leg sled, these exercises will help you tone up, shape up, and get strong below the knees. The first exercise, seated calf raises for a warm up of 20 reps. You know, it's funny, calves are often one of the most neglected muscle groups, yet they're one of the most similar to the muscle group we all want, the abs. You see, they have this long, thin strip of muscle stretching from the top down to the bottom, much like the abs, and they require high intensity and high volume and recover very quickly. So again, like the abs, they can take a punishing. Therefore, I'm gonna add some more weight on and keep the repetitions high to keep the intensity up here. Okay, time to get some more weight on for the third work set and stick with that high rep range of anywhere from 15 up to 20 reps to really help stimulate growth in the calves. One of the many variations that you can switch up and train calves, besides adding more weight, is how you angle the toes and the heels. For example, on these sets, I've had my toes and ankles aligned, which works the main part of the calf for mass size. But if you wanna focus on more the inner or outer portion of the calf, change your angle of the toe or the heel outwards or inwards to help shift the focus. The ball of the foot still remains in the same place. Let me show you. I'll start with an outward foot position and this will focus more on the inner portion of my calf's head. Yeah, I feel a deep burn on the inner areas of my calf here. So by changing my toes from outwards to inwards now, slightly bringing my heels out, this will shift the emphasis to the outer portion of the calf. While straight legged calf raises or presses are the best mass building exercises, being able to focus on the middle thickness and the inner and outer, you work primarily the gastrocnemius, which is the long thin piece of muscle that stretches from the heel to just above the knee. Another great exercise that will allow you to add some more size and mass to the calf is to do the exercise with the knee bent, as this will take out that gastrocnemius and allow the soleus to really come into play. That's the thicker muscle that's located on top of the long, thin muscle. You'll feel a big difference just by this small change in movement. Calves used to be one of my least favorite muscle groups to train, but since discovering these variations and different exercises, they're now one of my favorite muscle groups to train because I can really see the difference that they can make to my calf development.